Seeing as a few people requested an expanded 2x2 design, I decided to show you my favorite one. Here it is. This base design is designed for groups from 4 to 6 players. As a disclaimer, I'm not going to be designing any of the loot rooms. It's all up to you how you design your base. Let's get right into the build. The space design starts out from a standard 2x2 with no airlock. The TC placement in this base and the loot room placement is all up to you, but as you can see here, I place my TC next to the door. I made sure to upgrade that ceiling to wood so it can be soft sided out later, and I can place a ladder hatch there. Now when you're ready, you can soft side out the wooden ceiling, place a ladder hatch here, and begin to work on your upper floors. None of these loot rooms in the inner 2x2 core are going to have any boxes or anything like that, because that design is totally up to you. I recommend placing your bedroom on the third or fourth floor of this inner 2x2 core. I'm going to speed this next part up as the configuration of these loot rooms don't really matter at all as long as it's four stories tall and the very top one has a ladder hatch. I recommend going into a build server beforehand and building the base to figure out where you want an electric room and a bedroom for all your teammates. So once you get to the fourth floor, you're gonna build it as normally, but instead of having a hop up, make sure to place a ladder hatch. Uh, it's important that you place the ladder hatch before you do the peaks because otherwise you won't be able to place the peaks. So far your base should be looking like this, uh, four stories tall, two by two. Uh, then you're going to start out on the next shell and do exactly as I do on the screen here. If you have a hard time following, make sure to slow down the video and do this part right. Uh, then next place triangles connecting to the main 2x2 two two from the shell, and then place door frames on one side of each of the triangles in order to keep the shell from decaying. Next you'll decide how many entrances you want to your outer peaks and where you want them so you can place double door frames uh, where you want the entrances. And then continue to build up the shell all the way up to the four stories. Now this next part is completely up to you. And as long as you place the ladder hatch, everything should be fine here. You can build your peaks however you want. I'm going to demonstrate a few designs that work pretty well. If you're a newer base builder, the basic principle of this is just make it so that it's easy to look down and shoot at people, but hard for them to ladder up and shoot back at you. This next design of peaks is probably the simplest, and they work pretty well. Um, I recommend them if you're a beginner. It's pretty easy to do these and not mess the base up. They are easy to ladder up into, but if you end up getting siren lights, that can be easily avoided. Uh, 
this next one is the one I personally use. It's my favorite because the peaks are pretty tight and somewhat difficult to ladder into. It's not that expensive to fix it with siren lights. So this is going to be the design I use for the base build. Now you're going to do something that I see a lot of base designs leave out and that is add windows to be able to see into your shooting floor. This helps in online raid defenses when the attackers are taking over your shooting floor. As you can see, you'll be able to see through the windows and open the doors whenever you need to to kill them. If you don't have windows, you can also do this with shop fronts, but they do add a lot more upkeep to your TC with this already expensive base design. You can add a triangle hatch here and then another roof portion where you can see people through windows. This will help if people are landing on your roof and trying to steal minis or something like that. I forget to do it in the recording here, but it's a good idea to add a ladder hatch on the top of this portion right here, so you can also get up to the top of this. Next you're going to add doors to your inner shell and then you're going to start working on your outer shell. I recommend having two exits and entrances to prevent door campers from getting to you easily and also include windows to your exits and entrances. After you add those exits and entrances, go ahead and build up the outer shell all the way up to the fourth story as well. In this next part, make sure to not connect your peaks to the outer wall like I do here. Do not do this, because if a raider is attacking from this side and they break that outer wall, your peaks will collapse and make it harder to defend. So instead, connect your peaks to the inner wall like this. Then continue to build your peaks like I do on screen here. After this, we're going to create a second layer of windows in case someone ladders into your shooting floor. Repeat those steps you just saw on all four sides.
So after this, you're just going to seal off your roof to the outer peaks. Place ceilings as I do on screen here. Next, we're gonna build the shooting floor. Do as I do on screen here. Um, this is my personal favorite way to do peaks on the space design, but if you have a better way that you find works, that's totally fine, you can use that. I'm going to speed this part up now. It's just the same repetitive process of placing windows on the right side to the most outer side, and then placing door frames so that the door opens to cover the gap in the uh, roof. Make sure to seal up the roof before you do the door frames because it adds the stability required for the door frames. Simply place ceilings where I do on screen here. Then while going in a counterclockwise manner, place all your door frames like this and put the hinge of the door on the right side so that it opens out to the right. This will prevent people from hopping into your shooting floor from the roof. After this, just place an embrasure on every single one of the windows. You can now add garage doors or normal doors here and place windows in between to let you see people in your shooting floor if they end up laddering in or blowing in. I would recommend swapping these doors out here for normal doors because it allows you to get in and out of your shooting floor very quickly without having to wait for the garage door to fully roll up. This next part is totally optional but there's room for four windmills and you can also optionally create roof peaks but this will reduce the stability of the windmill posts because you have to remove the outermost door frame to place the roof peaks. This next part is also optional, but you can add windows here, where I do between these door frames, and add normal doors or garage doors here to make the roof defense a little bit easier. You can seal off the roof here and add a ladder hatch anywhere you want in order to be able to get to the top of this portion here. And after you've done that, you've built the base design. All the stuff on the inside is completely up to you. The loot rooms are totally customizable, the bedrooms, the electric, all of that is up to you. Ideally you'll upgrade the most inner core to armored and the second most inner core to sheet metal, upping the raid cost by a lot. I built the base out of stone to show you just the normal cost without any upgrades. If you enjoyed the video, maybe like and subscribe, I'll be uploading more videos like this and more tips and tricks that don't fit on my TikTok channel. I'll also be uploading content from wipes that I play. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.